today we'll be reading the jellies and the crunchers. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Do you see it, guys? Front cover, back cover, spine. Bears, a beautiful town near the base of a large beautiful mountain. And this town has two types of people. The, the people who eat sticky, who eat sticky jelly eggs, but people who only eat crunchy crackers. The jelly eaters are, are all kinds of different people. There are young jelly and old jelly. They're both tall and short. And round and, and, round and thin jellies. They're, they're of all the different hairstyles and only jelly. Because of that, their lips and teeth are in the color of their fingers, jelly, and their nuts and fingers are always sticky. The crunchy cracker agents are all kinds of different people. They are young crunchers and old crunchers. They are both different hairs. They are tall and short and round and thin. All of all different hairstyles and creatures styles. The one thing about the crunchers is that they all eat and only crunchy crackers and because of their lips are very dry and crack and their teeth are many different crackers in them and they are always stuck in their clothes. The jelly think the crunchers are messy and loud. The crunchers think the jellies are messy and good and they don't get along. The jelly carry is full on a chain and random and that's what we need. And jars of jelly and jelly. The jelly carry with the name jelly stand back hat. The crackers all are crumb covered granny packs. But they snack all day as they walk around. This town has a large public square located in the center of town. This town square is filled with picnic tables and benches and fountains and gardens. On one side of the public square, there are many, many jelly shops. It is in the, it is in the jelly shops you can purchase Purchase all manner, all manner of jelly, and even, and even spoons on chains and backpacks to carry them. On the other side of the square are many, many crunchy cracker shops. It is in these crunchy cracker shops you can buy all manner of crackers and the brand new packs to carry them around. Throughout the history of the town, a jelly had never been in a crunchy cracker shop and a cruncher has never been in a jelly shop. Every day for breakfast and every day at lunch and every day at dinner, the people of this town come to this very large town square to meet and eat. The jellies never sit with the crunchers, and the crunchers never sit with jellies. So they do tend to move around to different picnic tables as they please. And this is where the trouble began. Since the whole town came to meet together at the town square, as was tradition, the benches and the tables became sticking crunchy. And what once a beautiful town square became run down and messy, and the people began to grumble and complain. So the crunchers started to point their fingers at the jellies, and the jellies pointed their fingers at the crunchers, and everyone was angry and blaming for each other for the mess. 
bump took place on a day all the people of the town showed up for lunch at the town square. The park was red and messy with the jelly stains and crumbly crumbs from the last week. Because the ground refused to clean up food, the crunchers refused to clean up Jelly. In fact, the benches were so messy, no one wanted to sit on them. Sticky and dirty, they were so messy, no one refused to clean up jelly. In fact, the, but the benches were so messy, no one wanted to sit on them. Sticky and dirty, there was no clean spot to sit or place their lunch. The mayor who had a fresh job jelly ready to go around sitting and standing and staring at each other. What's going on, Lady Peter? He explained. The jellies all started yelling and pointing saying things. But he kept it down and made her the benches were too messy. And those crunchers have ruined our part. Do you honor? Then the mayor heard a louder cry and the crunchers started. With yelling and pointing and calling for, calling for the sheriff. And the sheriff just came out. And the crunch. And the crunch. And the crunch is in crowd. And ear. Around and asking what was happening. This park has been ruined by those jellies, sir. The crunchers yelled, and they also yelled, Arrest those sticky people before they make more mess. The mayor waved his arms and the sheriff whistled to get their attention, and the people quieted down. The mayor walked forward and met the sheriff in the middle of the park at what was the messiest of tables. Sheriff, this has gone on long enough. Tell our conscience to stop in the, the crunchy papers and clean up this mess, he commanded. Mayor, the fault is with you jellies and your sticky messes. It's time to change your ways and clean up this mess and stop eating that gooey grub. The mayor puffed his chest and said, I've never eaten a crunchy food. And it's never with I can only imagine how horrible that would be. It's bad enough. We can both we we have put up with all all, all your crumbs and crunching. So I demand you to put an end. This. The sheriff straightened up and stood a little taller, responded with his own chest. You can demand nothing, Mayor Gooey Gums, he said again, personal. And us crunchers will never change, so you jellies need to get with the program and put down your jars. The tension so high and the people yelling at each other. The next thing that happened changed the town forever. Out of out of the crowd of crunches to a bag of crunchy crackers. And out 
the crack of that landed on the mirror you want to see and exploded. And a mass of dry crumbs covered the very face. The great glob of jelly hit the ship straight in the face in an explosion of purple goo. A moment of great silence occurred for a very long moment. Then the first sound of a zipper happened at that Oh, jelly jars were opened. The zipper sounds of fanny packs with cracker bags sounded out, and with a, and with a great roar that only a crowd of angry people can bring, the greatest food fight in the history of food fights occurred. Hundreds of bags of crackers. In the air as the launching as the launching of jelly jars flew. Some landed as an intended when thrown, but so many bags and so many jars were thrown at the same time. The mass of them met in the air and what on what rained down on both sides of the great food fight was a mixture of Cookie, crackers, and green jelly. Each person in the park that day was completely covered in cracker crumbs and jelly dough. Everyone's lunch now mixed together and spread over the whole every member of the town. The people rubbed the mix of food, food from their eyes and mouth and looked around at each other. There's nothing more to fight over and everything. Haven't had them yet. Food about enough. The jellies turned quietly. And as a group headed to their homes, the crunchers looked at the great mess that they had become. And it was a glass that their furs turned and went home for cleaning up. And in the homes of the jelly, an amazing thing happened. At the food mixer, of crackers and jelly from the kitchen and clothes, some gone but not in the hands of the crunchers. An amazing thing happened. At the food mixer, jelly crackers from the kitchen and clothes, some gone but not in the hands of the crunchers. Oh my, these crackers are not half bad. And then the home of the cruncher was also her. Wow, this jelly is pretty yummy. And throughout the evening, every single jelly and every single cruncher, even the maid and the sheriff, came to eat a mix of crackers and jelly, jelly and crackers. The astonished jelly wanted more. The flabbergasted princess was wanted more. And a great peace came over the town. And a greater understanding came to each jelly and each creature. The next day, a brave little jelly girl who changed things forever we're even in the history of this town. No jelly has ever en entered a crunchy crack shop. She decided she liked the crunchy cracker and wanted more. Going against everything, she learned and understood for what, from what it means to be a jelly. She walked into a crunchy cracker shop and asked for a fanny pack full of crackers. And a little cruncher boy who has seen this brave girl. No cruncher has ever done in the history of this town. He walked into a jelly store and asked if he could buy a, a backpack full of jelly jars and even a spoon on a chain.
now there is a town near the base of the large, beautiful mountain, and this town has a single type of people. The people who eat sticky gel and crunchy crackers, the green gel and crunchy cracker eaters, and all kinds of different people. And they call themselves jelly crickets. They are young and old. They are both tall and short and round. And thin. They are all different hairstyles and clothes and styles. The one thing about the jelly crickets is that, is that they always smell their alarm because they have, have learned that there is no way to do something and that combining the things that make them different makes them all better. Thank you for reading with us. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Never stop reading and never stop learning and never stop growing. And the comments below. We love you. Bye. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget Grown-ups, click on the bell to get <laughs> notifications to when see we upload so new you can videos watch FKA Kids TV. Grown-ups, click on the bell. Bye. Bye. See you in the next video. See you in the next video.